Hello friends, another story time with Miss Winslet. So as we get you ready for kindergarten, we're gonna make sure you know how to tell a story or retell a story and the parts of a story and who makes a story. So let's see, the writer is the author. The one who draws the pictures and helps our imagination is the illustrator. The one who takes photos a photographer. And what does the author do that's super special for a book? He gives it a title. So let's see what book we have today so we can remember how to retail what happens at the beginning, the middle, the end, and who were our characters. Our book for today, Little Red Riding Hood. The author is Myra Alprin. And our illustrator is Loretta Schuer. All right, let's open up and see what happens with Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood. Once there was a little girl who loved to wear red. She had red shirts and red skirts, red shoes, and a fabulous red cloak. Her name was Little Red Riding Hood. Early one morning, Little Red's mother packed up a basket. I have a very special job for you, she told Little Red. Granny is feeling poorly. Will you take her this fresh fruit? Of course, said Little Red, and she put on her favorite red cloak and kissed her mother goodbye. It was bright and a sunny day, and Little Red skipped through the woods. Good morning, she called to the rabbits and to the deer. I'm bringing Granny a special surprise, but someone was peeping from behind the tree. A big, hungry wolf. Good day, growled the wolf. What are you doing in the woods all alone? <laughs> I'm taking this special basket of fruit to Granny, Little Red replied. Yuck, thought the wolf. He didn't like fruit, but he did like to eat tasty little girls. So the wolf thought up a plan. A horrible, clever plan. Why not pick Granny some lovely flowers, he told Little Red. Good idea, said Little Red. But as she was starting to gather the daisies, the wolf raced away down the path going to Granny's house. The wolf knocked on Granny's door with a thud, thud, thud. Is that you, Little Red, my dear? cried Granny. Yes, squeaked the wolf. He tried to have a girl's voice. Let me in. It's breakfast time. Oh, goody, said Granny. Opening the door, what are we having for breakfast? You, said the wolf. Granny, you're not my little red, and she slammed the door right on his big furry nose. Ow! Howled that wolf. Quick as a flash, Granny ran out of the back door and into the woods to try to find help. Whew! Hard old Granny, the wolf growled, rubbing his nose. But now he could put his terrible plan in action. So when Little Red knocked, knocked, knocked on that door, it was Granny's door, it started to deep creak. And with a scratchy voice, she heard someone say, Come in, my dear. Look. Little Red walked up to Granny's bedroom. 
and she stopped in surprise. <laughs> Why, Granny? She said slow, what big ears you have. <laughs> the better to hear you with, my dear, said the wolf. And Granny, uh, what big hairy arms you have. <laughs> the better to hug you with, my dear. But, but Granny, said Little Red, what big teeth you have. <gasps> the better to eat you with, my dear, said the wolf, and he pounced out at Little Red. And just at that moment, the door burst open and in rushed Granny, there she is with a big old frying pan, and the woodcutter with his ax. Stop right there, yelled Granny. Put her down right now, said the woodcutter, or we'll chop you up and turn you into a birdhouse. What? What a terrible howl the wolf made as he jumped out of the window and he ran far, far, far away, never to return. Little Red hugged Granny tight. I'm so glad you chased that wolf away, she said. And she gave Granny her basket of fruit. What a day of excitement, laughed Granny. <laughs> now let's all have breakfast. The end, my friends. So our story, Little Red Riding Hood. Let's think about it. In the beginning, Little Red's mother asked her, could she please take a basket of fruit to her granny because she wasn't feeling so well. In the middle, we saw Little Red go through the woods, greeting all the animals until she came across that big, bad wolf who tricked her into picking daisies while he ran to go to Granny's house and tricked Granny into running away so that he could hide. And in the end, even though he was disguised in Granny's clothes, Little Red asked enough questions that when he jumped out, she had time for Granny and the woodcutter to come and save the day, and the wolf ran away. And let's think about, I said all the characters, let's see if we can count them. It was Little Red, her mother, the big bad wolf, Granny, and the woodcutter. So we had five characters in this book. So, okay, my friends, so just like when you read any story, just think about, can I retell it if I can remember the beginning, the middle, and the end, and the, all the characters that the author has put in the book? Well, you all have a great day. I hope you enjoy the story. Until next time, goodbye, my friends.